Tim Seaman has been in Jacksonville, Florida to watch as the USS Sioux City sees her first change in command. Tim has all of the details in our top story tonight. Hey, good evening, Bridget. We uh, join you tonight from the Atlantic Beach area. This is a tourist destination here, the ocean just a block away. Lots of restaurants and nightlife here. And it is a beautiful night here in Florida, Naval Station Mayport just down the road. And tonight's no better than what it was today. What a great day to be aboard the USS Sioux City. A couple of real highlight moments in the short life of that ship, namely the change of command as uh, Commander Randy Malone and his crew have had the ship since the very beginning today. They turned the hull over to another crew, Kevin. O'Neill will lead that crew for the next six or eight months. It was uh, very eye-opening at a traditional part of this ship, something we'll be seeing for years to come as the ship continues uh, its service. Also today, the much-talked-about Blue Bunny ice cream bunker finally made an appearance. So, I get the first one. Commander Malone on his last day in command, the first in line to grab that great ice cream treat. The sailors, men and women alike, enjoying a cold treat today on the deck of the USS Sioux City. That bunker will be with the ship through its entirety, always stocked and ready to go. One of several different uh, Sioux City ties that the USS Sioux City will carry with it into the future. It's going to wrap up our uh, day of reports here. It's been a great day. We'll continue to follow the progress of the USS Sioux City. We did some uh, other work here on the base while we're in town. We'll feature those stories in uh, weeks to come, so make sure you keep an eye on that if you're uh, in tune with what's up with the USS Sioux City. Along with uh, photographer Kenneth Kroll, Tim Seaman, KCAU 9 News.